a doctor TV show starring only TikTok stars. It's got to be good, right? <laughs> Welcome back to The Asher Show. I'm so glad this show is out because I have been waiting patiently for it to come out for the longest time. So I talked about the TikToker Dixie D'Amelio and how TikTokers are taking over YouTube. And in that video, Dixie D'Amelio says this. Wait, what? She played a doctor on a TV show? Dixie D'Amelio has been cast for a new TV series, Attaway General. The show is about a group of teens who volunteered together at a local hospital and features TikTok influences. A TV show starring only TikTok influencers. It's gotta be amazing, right? Let's go on IMDb and check. Attaway General, 3.5 out of 10. Okay, that's not that great. Popularity, ooh. Let's check out the cast. We got Dixie D'Amelio. We have Griffin Johnson. And Lauren Kettering. So the channel Bratz TV, 4.36 million subscribers. I guess they make web TV series. Chicken Girls, Attaway General, Manny, Stage Fright. And according to their own bio, tune in to original shows from all your favorite creators. So I guess they find influencers, they find TikTok stars, and they turn them into actors for some reason. Someone thought this was a good idea. At least there's 4.3 million people that think it's a good idea. So what is Attaway General about? It's got to be as good as Grey's Anatomy. It has to be as good as The Good Doctor. Guaranteed, it's better than The Show House. Because when you have TikTok stars acting, you know you have something good on your hands. When four very different teens arrive at Attaway General Hospital's prestigious volunteer program, wait, the volunteers? They must learn to work together to survive the program and make a difference in the lives of their patients. Oh my god, this is good. Starring Dixie D'Amelio, Diego Martir, Lauren Catterin and Gabby Morrison. Wait, who the heck is Diego Martir? Oh, he's not a TikToker. He's an Instagram influencer. Yes! What a cool guy. He's got this curly hair. Oh, jeez. You know he can act. Do you have any hidden talents? Um, soccer? I, I'm like really good at soccer. Oh, he's good at soccer. Good. That's really going to help him out in his acting career. Let's watch the first episode of Attaway General together because... You know it's gonna be amazing. I love doctor shows. Today's premiere of Attaway General is brought to you by Just Dance 2020. Brother, sisters, everybody sang. This TV show is brought to you by a video game? How do they have these great sponsors already? And also, she's not even doing the dance right. Does she not know how to do the dance? It's like this. Brother, sisters, everybody sang. The teen volunteer, or TV program, is what you make of it. The more you prove yourself, the more rewarding your time will be. We only get to observe in the ER. The ER is usually reserved for third-year TVs. As first-year TVs, you guys will be on pediatrics. Here they are, guys. Here they are. All the famous TikTokers. Walking and acting. So far, you can see Dixie D'Amelio is very comfortable in her acting shoes. That's the face that everyone wants to see. Any questions? Jack! Yeah, what time do we get off? I'm gonna pretend like I didn't hear that. I have a question. What is up with her eyes? Did I just pause it at the wrong time? Because she looks like she's being possessed. Second question. Does anyone have any acting experience? Even the person that's leading this entire scene. Looking directly into the camera. This isn't a YouTube vlog. Why are you looking directly into the camera? Ambulance Bay needs hands. Patient Dr. Hembry and everyone. Oh snap, here we go. Metro bus crash downtown. We're about to be at capacity. What can we do? Nothing. Why would they think they could help? What can we do? I thought you were volunteers. There's, you don't have medical experience. You're basically there just to like watch old people or something. I don't know. Wow. What an intro. That wasn't a copy of House in the slightest. Especially the end there with the x-ray of the head. So as this episode continues, so does the tour. I don't know how long this tour is, but the next stop is the break room. And Maeve, the second year, tells everyone their job is going to be cleaning out this coffee pot. This is Franklin. He's a little temperamental, so got to make sure you clean him out nightly. 
Shouldn't we be doing more than learning how to make coffee? There's an emergency out there. I was getting to that. Jack and Rosie, you guys can help me upstairs with lunches. Kit and Georgia, there's a new shipment of donated toys in the shed. I want you to find them, sterilize them, and bring them to the pediatric. So far, Dixie D'Amelio hasn't said a single thing. I thought she was the star of the show. All she's done is roll her eyes. <laughs> So far, the show is fantastic. You have this girl here who's always smiling. You know she's going to be a positive person in the show. Dixie D'Amelio, she's super angsty. She's wearing black and white, rolling her eyes every three seconds. Got this dumb kid with his ramen noodles haircut. And then this super smart girl who's constantly taking notes. I don't know what note she's taking. Nothing of value has been said so far. But let's continue on with the show because you know it's going to heat up. Well, I can see why they call this room the shed. Come on, the faster we finish, the faster we can go do something real. We've been here five seconds. Study? When did she have time to put on eyeshadow and mascara? She did not have that in the previous scene. Study show we form lasting impressions about others within seconds of meeting. So I can't be with you in a closet when I meet Dr. Henry. He's the most brilliant surgeon in the state. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the same accolades as a father. Seriously? You're his daughter? You're so lucky you don't even know it. You're giving me the impression I don't want to be in the same room as you. This is where the drama comes in. The lead surgeon is her dad. Who saw that coming? I knew it. She's the rebellious teen. All she wants to do is read magazines and lie down on the cot and rebel against her father. He doesn't, he doesn't have, have the same, same accolades, accolades as, as a father. father. She's angry. She wasn't paid attention enough to as a child. So, why did you volunteer to work at a hospital? I got arrested. Beats Juvie. Oh, he's a bad boy. What about you? I just love to help people. For real? For real? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need? Uh, my doctor, she took me back here forever ago and she hasn't come back yet. Sorry, but it's really busy right now. There's been a huge accident. I know. I was in it. Oh, that must have been... I've watched a lot of bad shows, but this takes the cake. It's like they're reading off a script. I know. I was in it. Oh, that must have been... I, I know I was in it. Oh wow, that must have been... Line? I'm just uh, I'm a little worried right now because I'm losing a lot of blood. <laughs> He's got a little tiny little scratch. He's got a tiny scratch. I'm losing a lot of blood. If he was losing a lot of blood, you think they would have left him there to bleed out and die? But let's but let's see what this uh, this teen volunteer says because she's an expert. She's been writing notes all day. Clearly she knows something we don't. You should be fine to wait a little. If you hit an artery, you would have passed out by now. Yeah. That's comforting. Use this instead. Lots of pressure. And soak it in cold water. The sweatshirt. Oh. Thanks. I'm holding. Kit. Great. She's falling in love with this guy. Six-year-old female, third-degree burns, possible smoke inhalation. We couldn't get a line in. Give me a 24 needle. Okay, I just realized there's a constant beeping through every scene of the show, and I don't know why. Nobody's hooked up to anything. Beep, beep, beep. Do you see a single person or a single heart rate monitor in any of these scenes? Give me a 24 needle norepinephrine. What else can I do? Come on, dude. You're the last one. You have to eat. Hey, don't ignore me. Um, hey, Jack, maybe try a gentler approach. <laughs> oh, come hey, on! That's mine! Eat your food. What are you doing? You can't just force him. Here. Let's... This is the worst acting I've ever seen in my life. I need to watch it again. I got distracted because this guy is clearly wearing a Levi's shirt. Don't listen to what they say. Listen to how they say it. It's so robotic. Come on, dude. You're the last one. You have to eat. Hey, don't ignore me. Um, hey, Jack, maybe try a gentler approach. Hey! That's mine! Eat your food. What are you doing? You can't just force him. Here, let me try. Get ready for the choo-choo train. Chugga chugga choo-choo. This is getting harder to watch. Even this kid doesn't want to see this. And he's out acting both of them combined. Okay, let's move it along, okay? I want to know what happens to this uh, Dixie D'Amelio. Oh, snap. Here we go. Here we go. Another love interest has entered the scene. What are you doing? Oh. Don't come any closer. I don't think that's going to hurt anyone. Depends where I put it. You're new TV, aren't you? 
Nicely done, Sherlock. Now, what are you doing? Do you always sneak up on people when they're sleeping? Actually, I had a reason to be in here. Some of us have work. Am I supposed to congratulate you? If you want to. Okay, that's a little close, buddy. That's a little close to someone you just met? Well, how old are you? In your 20s? She's, she's like 17 years old. Is he gazing into her eyes like a creep? He works here, she's in high school. Don't smile! Well, that was the creepiest scene. But what do you expect from the guy that does this on TikTok? He drew freckles on himself. Oh, come on. Why did you do that? I got this little thing to like, I don't know what it is to make freckles because I felt kind of bored. Um, but because you're bored. So the show starts heating up a little bit. They're running low on hands. One of the head doctors needs a hand, and he asks this teenage girl to help him out. EP's too low, I can't find a vein. I need more hands. You, come here. It's our first day. Get over here, come on. Grab on, right below the elbow, and squeeze as tight as you can. Now don't worry about hurting her. Good, minute longer. And we're in. Keep up the rescue breaths. Hey, good job. Kit. Kid, I'm Dr. Henry. I know, you're amazing. I read your book, it was amazing, and that, that was... Yeah, amazing. So amazing. Like, I, I've i never seen such great doctor work in my entire life. They couldn't find a vein, and then they found a vein just in time. Imagine a doctor trying to save somebody's life, and they see someone random who they don't know wearing regular plain clothes. You, come here, I need your help. She's just, she's just a girl. She's not wearing scrubs, she's not wearing a badge, nothing. I need more hands. You, come here. It's our first day. Get over here. Come on. <laughs> Get over here. We can't leave until he eats, but we've tried everything. Everything. She's the worst actor on the show. I'm sorry. You've got to be kidding me. Does this guy know how germs work? <laughs> He's wearing gloves to prevent himself from... <laughs> He's wearing gloves to stop the spread of germs. And then he uses those same gloves and he touches his face. You've got to be kidding me. That's it. He's got the coronavirus. Saved his life. And then Dr. Henry called me over out of all the nurses in the ER to help save this girl with third degree burns. It was crazy. <sighs> she didn't save anyone's life. First of all, that kid had a little bit of blood coming out of his arm and she put a bandage around him. And since when did they become friends? They're also interested in her story. Well, everyone except for Dixie D'Amelio, who's such a rebel. She's got a leather jacket on now. Whew. Try to be a little more professional. These will help. Oh, they get wow, scrubs. This is so cool. Are yeah. Wear these every day. I really hope so. It has my name on it. What did you think of episode one? Acting is not for everyone. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating when I say this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Why is this child acting better than the actual adult teenage actors? That's what I said. That kid that didn't want to eat a cereal was out acting everybody. They're all so bad. But Diego is just on another level of bad. Patient has third degree burns. Doctor injects her right arm. My work is done. I was thinking the exact same thing. He's like, I can't find a vein. I can't find a vein. <sighs> this is why you don't comment on TikTokers posts. Get them on a Netflix show. Exactly. You're just really trying to encourage these terrible TikTokers. I keep saying TikTokers don't have much talent. Like, the top TikTokers, I mean. The ones that just dance for a living. They don't have talent. It's 10-year-olds reading, trying to make a drama performance. This isn't even the Walmart version of Grey's Anatomy. It's the garbage sale version. Wow, these guys are getting roasted in the comments. What is she doing with their hairnet? It's literally covering 30% of her hair. <laughs> wait, wait. For real? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> What's the point of a hairnet if it's not gonna cover all of your hair? The show is literally worse than my school play. Not even kidding. The acting is flatter than the soda that's been in my room since February. <laughs> Bruv, I can't. The way they didn't even put their hair not sound correctly is killing me. The cringe of the show is astronomical. Out of way general, guys. If you want to watch it, y you know where to find it. On the Sweet Sweet Bratz TV channel. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Be sure to tune in next time. Peace. Bus boy, why are you back here? Just waiting to get my stitches removed. Mind if I take a look? Why is she looking at his stitches? She's basically mopping the floors. She's the janitor. <laughs>